All right, so what I'm doing today is we're going to try and, um, excuse me while I get this camera on. We are going to um, try and evict some moles. Now, when I say moles, um, it's, it, usually moles get to blame for a lot of things. Uh, but So what I have here is castor oil trying to show the label and this is particularly mole evict but really what i was looking for it says 100 percent castor oil and that's what i used and the directions have different mixing um things on here um and i've been doing them really really light-handed so i'm gonna go a little heavy-handed and the directions basically call for two uh, two tablespoons for two gallons, I believe, and I think that's a little light, but we're just, I'm going to guess at about a quarter cup is what I'm going for, and then they say double as much dish soap. I just happen to have this cheap dish soap. Dish soap don't really, to me, this seems like a lot of, both a lot of uh, dish soap and a lot of product. But, um, the last few times I've applied this hasn't really had the greatest success. So, um, but yeah, we'll, we'll talk about some of the things that I have tried and other ideas for naturally, um, getting rid of bulls. The birds are still locked up. They're saying hello. Can we come out? Okay. So I got a one and a half gallon sprayer that I got from Tractor Supply. And I think it run $10, $15. This is actually a nicer sprayer. So I do pay um, an extra, a little extra for that one. But usually in the $10, $15 range, this is a one and a half gallon. They're usually either one or two gallons. Now, um, I, I wound up getting two sprayers. I have one sprayer for nematodes. And this sprayer here I use for what I would call poisons or whatever like this shake it a little so this to get a thorough understanding we're not trying to poison the uh the the moles and i'm going to tell you there's always this discussion and, uh, and it's best in normal circumstances to find out whether you have a bowl a bowl or a gopher but um i know from experience what we have is gophers and they're not just eating insects under the grass they will go and basically eat an apple tree and make a toothpick out of it and this is my lineup here of figs so and right now, the last hole they made last night, yesterday, there was just this one hole. Now, today I have this, this, and this. Three more holes overnight, and they're right in the middle of my fig area, which is where I don't want them. He came from the neighbor's yard over there, and has slowly gone through the yard here, and I keep spraying around the figs, and I've been able to keep them out of the figs, but I guess I'm gonna try to get him to turn around and go back from whence he came. <laughs> I don't know if I'm gonna have any luck with that, but I'm gonna be spraying the ground here around the figs. And, you know, excuse me because I'm out of breath. Um, I will tell you other things I've tried in the past the uh, um and i'm gonna try and get the ground really saturated uh the uh 
There is a product on the market that has castor oil in it and it has granules. That works wonderfully to chase them out of um, an area. I like that product a lot and the reason why I'm not using it is because I have dogs and well I have a puppy, I have uh, I have basic farm animals and the chickens and the geese especially like to peck at little granules of things thinking it's seeds or whatever and I do not know if that's entirely safe for them but so I know that castor oil is known as a uh, as a poison or whatnot. We're really not trying to. Uh, nobody's going to eat this, and the way we apply it, it's not going to hurt any of my animals. They're not going to be able to eat enough of it to get sick. So um, I don't want to spray all the holes down here. Because, like I said, I want him to go back. And if I spray it all, he's just going to go nuts up in here. But what I'm going to do is spray this in the area. And then I'm going to spray a lot of my uh, big area again. Because I don't, that's where I don't want him. Look at him, he's right here. Ready to cause havoc. Um, there's some other ideas that I haven't personally tried. Um, there's one time I tried, I was so mad one time when they got, um, they took one of my brand, brand new planted apple trees and literally the stick was left. There was no roots, no nothing. It was just a stick left. And, uh, see if the setting sprays a little better. And what I did is I went to the dollar store and I got cayenne pepper, I got cinnamon, I got garlic, and all those types of things. And looked in my cupboard for any old chemicals. And I tell you what, that hot pepper smell will get any fur-bearing <laughs> critter to move. Um, once I sprayed the ground with that, they... Uh, they completely left that area. I mean, it, it was almost funny. There was like six holes dug heading out of that direction. So, uh, that, I don't think any fur bearing animal, if you happen to have a pepper crop over, you know, or an abundance of pepper oil or have the ability to get at some, that is an excellent, excellent alternative. So what I'm gonna do, after I uh, spray this area is um, I'm gonna run the sprinkler and it's something about the smell that uh, that these guys don't like and of course with rain it'll wash it out but I want to get this this sit down into the ground to get them moving along and like I said right now I'm going along what I'm spraying at is my uh, big area to try and uh, keep them out of there. I don't want them up in here eating the roots of my figs. So um, we did recently get a, a Anatolian Shepherd puppy. And uh, one of the things I read up about those kinds of dogs is that um, in the wild, they like to eat just that, gophers and things like that, that they can, uh, they're not actually in the wild, but they're from Turkey. And in Turkey, they, uh, you know, they go out with the sheeps by themselves without a shepherd and they're able to take care of themselves. Look at that weird fungus. Huh. So, uh, by eating the rodents and so forth that they come across. So, um, you know, our dog's a puppy and I've tried to attract them to the, uh, the gopher holes and so forth. And he's not taking interest yet, but he's just a baby. Maybe I'm hoping down the line, it's not his only purpose here. He's a farm dog. 
anyhow, so um, some other good ideas I've seen is to, and I have two cats indoors, is to take cat, cat, um, a scrimmage, cat pooped, and put it in the gopher holes. So hot pepper juice is a good one. And yeah, I just sprayed in there. I really didn't want to do that. I want them to go back in there. Anyhow, so uh, let me know if you've tried anything. I mean, I've seen these traps and so forth out there. And uh, we've actually got one. They're a little difficult to set up. Not really had any great luck with that. But my thought is if you have a friend with a rat terrier, and bite them over, get a farm cat, or this right here. Now I'll let this get away with me. I have to reapply every so often, but uh, it is a val valuable option. I just don't want to take any chances of losing, I mean, Overnight, they could take out two or three good sized plants. So, <sighs> anyhow, my name is uh, Sherry from Sherry's Plants, and it had a tagline of let's grow together, but i seen that a lot of folks are already using that tagline, so I'm trying to think of something new. Maybe like, let's get back to our roots or something like that. I don't know. What do you guys think? Um, I hope you enjoyed uh, my thought process on evicting moles and bowls or whatever you have. Like I say, the different critters, it makes a difference. Um, the other thing I was doing, yeah, here's yet another item. Uh, you can, uh, if you have voles or moles, which I don't have, I know this is a gopher, just because I know my area, what we normally get, and they're coming up in your yard and tearing it up for bugs, is nematodes. Nematodes is also, uh, it kills your all your worm-like critters and keeps those moles and bowls out of your yard. What the gophers come up in here for is for eating roots of different plants. So it's, um, they'll eat anything. They'll eat the, the, the roots and they'll eat bugs also. So they're more of a scavenger than the other. And really, I think that is it. Uh, for this conversation. Thank you. Bye.